Uh, that from a Chinese point of view, this Greek way of thinking, you know, if you have an acorn, do you, do you know what an acorn is? I don't know, how do you say acorn in German? It's, it's a seed that you plant that grows an oak tree. Yeah, an eichel. An eichel. Yeah. One of those. Okay, so the, the Greek thinking, if you have one of those and you put it into the ground, you get an oak tree. If you have a chicken egg and you sit on it, you get a chicken. You know? If you have a kernel of corn and you put it in the ground, you grow a stalk of corn. But, but from a Chinese point of view, what you do when you do that is you forget about context. That, that, that one acorn in a million becomes an oak tree, the rest of them become squirrels. One chicken egg in a million becomes a hen, the rest of them become breakfast. One uh, kernel of corn in a million becomes a stalk of corn, the rest of them become cows. You know, that if we, I mean, I'm, and I'm not joking, you know, I mean, this is the way that the human experience unfolds. We, we talk about a root, you know, the root is, is, is some kind of a single source. You know, you've got a root and then you've got a tree. My father was a farmer and I'm here to tell you that trees don't work that way. That, that the roots and the trees grow together or not at all. That, 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 that you don't have a root first and then a tree. That, that there's a sense in which the roots are branches underground and the branches are roots reaching to the sky. You know, that this is a symbiosis. And, and so the kind of language that we use, we use a language of cause. And so you can isolate one cause and, 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 and you know, you have a concept of a transcendent God and then meaning derives from that God, potential derives from that God. Uh, God, this is the root of the human experience. That way of thinking is not relevant to the Chinese tradition. Cause happens. What you're going to be, how you're going to make yourself as a human being, resides within the relationships that you live every day of your life. That's where you're going to come from. That's where the significance of your life is going to come from. If you're going to make this life significant, you're going to do it not by deriving something from some external no, I know not what, you're going to get it from living the roles that, that, that locate you within the human experience with virtuosity. To live them substantially. To live them, to, to, to have meaningful relationships. Meaning comes from meaningful relationships in the world. So, so what you get when you, uh, William James wants to say, forget about this idea of single source. Forget about this idea of, of character, of person, of self of soul, you know, as though you, you emerge out of this one source and get back to your real experience. There's no you outside of the roles and relationships that locate you within the world. could use the Hamburg Sinologist. I mean, maybe I should have been a bit more sensitive when I cho chose the French Sinologist. But Marcel Grené says, Chinese wisdom has no need for the idea of God. And this concept of God, when you say, what is God? If we're talking religion, it's the notion of some kind of independent, transcendent, foundational, determinative entity. If we're talking about science, it's the notion of some kind of external laws that are, that are imposed upon the world, that discipline the world. If we're talking about um, morality, it's the idea that there are such things as principles, courage, and justice, and wisdom, wherever they are, and what they do is they, they're available to us to adjudicate our conduct in the world. Or it's, it's logic that we can use to adjudicate the rhetoric of our lives. But, and if you're talking about a, a, about a human being, uh, we're not, we're, what we are is we're human beings. That concept of being is precisely that notion of some kind of given potential. You're born into the world, you're a human being, 
Um, and so you have, that means you have a soul, that means that you are uh, somehow or other ready-made. Chinese don't have human beings, they have human becomings. That human is what you do, not what you are. That if you live your roles and relationships robustly, you emerge as a human being. We think, I mean our way of thinking, our default position, is you're born into the world and you're an individual. In a Chinese way of thinking, in this Taoist way of thinking, individuality is something that you achieve. You start off as nothing. And gradually, in your roles and relationships, you earn your name. You become a person. You become somebody that somebody else points to and says, that, that person is, 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 is really you know, a model person. And so, you're, when you, as you become distinguished and distinctive as a human being, you become an individual. It's not something that you start from. So, so what we've got is we've got a Chinese world, a Taoist world, that shaves with Occam's razor twice. Looking at this tradition from our own presuppositions, it shaves with Occam's razor. Occam is this, this, I think, 14th century Franciscan monk who says that the best explanation for everything is the most economical explanation. And, um, and so, what we're doing is we're getting rid of things that from a Chinese perspective we don't need. One of them is the idea of God, and the second idea is the idea of the human soul. That these are not ideas that are necessary to talk about the human experience in a, in a robust way. Um, Tang Juni is one of the great um, philosophers of, this, of the 20th century. And we really ought to let the Chinese speak for themselves. And so what he says, and, and this sounds rather abstract, but, but it, it's, going to, it's going to say exactly what I said a moment ago about the human heart. So we're thinking about the human heart. The basic spirit of Chinese culture is the spirit of symbiosis and mutuality between particulars and totality. From the perspective of understanding, this means the spirit of being unwilling to isolate the heart from the totality. Uh, this is most evident in the cosmology of the Chinese. And from the perspective of ties of feeling and affection, it means the spirit of the heart in doing its best to realize the totality. That the heart, living its roles and relationships physiologically, uh, socially, psychologically, ecologically, is trying to live its existence as best it can. The, the, the wisdom in this tradition, if we take it right from the beginning, is really quite simple. And that is, we were, I was saying just a moment ago, we were, we were talking, and that is that, that as our students become great, we become great teachers. And the greater the, te the, the student, the greater the teacher. You know, this is, this is really important in our life. 